Hello everybody and welcome back to Scalaris, where we are currently in a slightly awkward situation with our Federation. We're still losing XP, but not for too much longer, in all honesty. That will not be the case for very much longer at all. We do, however, have some work to do on our various colony worlds. First of all, Procyon Secundus, and we can upgrade our system capital complex here. I'm going to go ahead and buy in 10,000 minerals to help with that, and we'll get that going. Excellent. Then this mining world needs a job. So we'll build a mining district there. This trade station is actually going to be a scientific station. So what I'd like to build here, unfortunately we can't currently build it, is a research or actually, I, I would like to build a research lab, but what I wanted to build was a research institute. Now, that we can't do yet. What we could do is upgrade to cyto-revitalization centers, and I think that is worth doing right now. Excellent. In the meantime, of course, we do have our fleets here. Now, the third fleet... We have reinforcements in transit. I'm actually going to send all of our fleets for right now back to Seoul. Want all of them to group up there for the time being. Excellent. So that should be fine. It'll take them some time to get there for sure. The Merrimack is currently in orbit around Sirius. Now we did start building our interstellar assembly site. So we're just waiting for 150 influence at this point. The Belmacosa are claiming some of our systems, and that's slightly spooky. We're going to activate the Surveyor again, plus seven minerals. Where was that? Distal, did that say? Yeah, over here. So we're going to go build those mining stations, and then we'll come back to Sirius. Technically, we should jump drive. There's no reason not to jump drive this. And then we'll build the mining stations, and then we will move back to Sirius the old-fashioned way. That'll be fine. Our Admiral has leveled up, sure. It's all completely okay. And I am curious to see what these two fleets end up looking like. That'll be interesting. In terms of their naval cap, that is. These reinforcements are in transit until midway through 2480, so that's fine. I'm a little bit concerned that the Belmacosa are prepping to declare war on us. I suspect that's what they're doing. The VMOS station is not capable of holding them off, but that's expected. They currently have their Juggernaut, or not their Juggernaut, their Colossus right here, over Farshore. Interesting. Well, we are currently capped on our alloys and working our way up on minerals. We're also a little concerned about energy credits, and that's something that we are working on. The Neptune Habitat, I think being a generator station, is actually ideal. I'm going to go ahead and create an energy grid here if we can. Yep. Excellent. Now, these are set up as trade stations. They're actually going to be research. Interesting that the industrial district was supplanted by the reactor district. Or not, not the industrial. The research district. Yeah, very interesting indeed. Regardless, I don't necessarily think it's a good idea to build research districts at all. So, even on science stations, I think you're better off building habitation districts. But that's completely fine. We are, of course, making our way back over to Scientific Sirius, and we're about two months away machine. from being able to construct. So that is great. I'm very, very happy about that. And let's go ahead and take armor hit points. Excellent. One month take away at this point, and this would make a great mining station. We're going to enter the orbit of Sirius 5 here. This would make a good mining station as well, except that that's a moon. But in this case, we're going to build a mega structure here. And we'll build a habitat. As I said, this will be mining over here. It'll be interesting to see what happens to these rare crystals. We'll keep an eye on that. 
but that will, of course, take some time. The Jupiter Station, we're going to upgrade the Cyto Revitalization Center. In fact, we're going to do that in all of these locations. There we go. Excellent. Now, we definitely need to be prepared for the Belmacosans to attack us. That's part of the reason why I pulled all of our ships back to Seoul. The other part, of course, is because we're waiting for this, but they'll show up eventually. Over the course of this year, the in enemy fact. Is targeting one of our stations. What? What enemy? Oh, a space amoeba. Okay. <laughs> sure. So, none of these are Belmacosan over here. Transmission. We decline. We don't gain hardly anything from that research agreement, and that would cost us influence. Pass on that one. So, the second and the fourth fleets are not technically in orbit around Seoul here. Pirates have been sighted in the Tonifier system. I suppose they would be. Okay, well, there's not a lot that we can do about that. But we also don't really care about this system. And in fact, it looks like our Federation members are taking care of it for us. Thanks, buddies. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we're glad for that. It's kind of an awkward location up there, but that's fine. So all of our fleets are now properly in orbit, except the fourth fleet is not actually... The second and fourth fleet are not docked at the starbase. So, uh... That Soul Station as home base, and just go ahead and enter orbit. There we go. The fourth fleet is repairing, and the second fleet is now properly docked. Here comes a number of our cruisers. Excellent. Where, when are these others going to pop back? 721 and 901. So most of them are going to be back right now. Not sure where they came back, but they're back. And the others will be in just under a month. So that's fine. Our interstellar assembly site is 73% done. Of course, we're using that to finally fix our issues over here. You can see that the Talakur League passed us in diplomatic weight. That's not shocking. We knew that they would likely do that. Although I wish we could see the breakdown of their diplomatic weight, but we have to go into here to see that, I guess. Oh, they're back to being a council member. Okay, that'll do it. But our interstellar assembly should put us back on top. And so that should be fine. We are going to want to switch over. Actually, they would accept fleets right now. Everybody vote for this. Do it. I'm actually surprised they would vote for this, but okay. Excellent. So now if we... They wish to invite the Awoken in. Yep. Now if we look at this, sort by fleet power. Technically, the Talakur League has more fleet power than us. That surprises me. I guess they are technically equivalent for, to us, but that is really, I think, boiling down to the fact that... Uh, we have the Federation fleets, which overinflates our opinion of ourselves, I guess I would say. So the fourth fleet here, I do want to max on out. Now, that is going to increase our maintenance cost, and I'm aware of this. But we'll get that maxed out. These cruisers will be done quite shortly. Excellent. The next thing that I might be interested in doing is bumping us up to high fleet contribution. That will drop our monthly cohesion. So we may want to wait until our interstellar assembly site is done. We still want the interstellar, interstellar assembly site so that we can work on our cohesion, right? But that'll be some time yet. And for right now, the Talakur League's fleet power is definitely a bit above our own. 
Where are their fleets? Over here, mostly. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, they are equivalent to us technologically. Okay. Plus five to distal, again. Sure, but that's already grabbed. Great. So we need to increase our naval cap. There's no doubt about this. But for right now, this is fine, I think. I would also, I think, be interested in bumping us up to high up here. Now, the Telecur League would currently not vote for this, but we can call in a favor and force them to vote for it. And so we shall. Now, this is going to make our naval cap even worse. And I'm aware of that. And it succeeded. Fantastic. So we're going to start making another Federation fleet. So we're going to need to, I think, just build ourselves a Federation Corvette for right now. Scum and villainy on Alpha Centauri Prime. That's no good. So Alpha Centauri Prime is, of course, up here. Not a lot we can do about it, though. Earth requires additional admin parks. Great. Right? This agro world requires jobs, and realistically, it's going to be a generator district. Not ideal. But this generator station here needs housing. Now, that's fine. We're going to build a housing structure here, specifically, uh, what is it called? It is, I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> I've passed it probably three times now. Wait, can we not build that on on habitats? Well, for now, we can just put in a reactor district. That will give us two, three housing, as well as three technician jobs. That'll be okay for now. Sure. And as soon as this Corvette is done... That went into the first Federation fleet, and I'm kind of mad about that. Okay, so we're going to transfer that on out, and that will come out like that. The Federation fleet here, the first Federation fleet. I like how I have first spelled out and then everything else here, not. I'm going to actually unify this by having the second Federation fleet. Like we're going to have the Federation fleets be spelled out and our fleets not be. So we can tell them apart a little bit easier. And then this will be the third Federation fleet. Excellent. And then that will, of course, have itself the same composition as our others. So 1, 7, 10, 20, 48. So we'll need a Titan, Battleship, Cruiser. There we go. 1, 7, 10, 20, 48. Okay. Sounds good. And we will immediately begin construction on that. I want to double check the first Federation fleet and make sure. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. And we'll have this enter orbit here. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Energy credits from jobs is nice. And we are going to go, I think, for energy weapon damage next. So we are just pumping the ships out right now. To an absurd degree. But that should have substantially weakened the Talakur League's fleets, at least put them wildly over cap like we are. We can afford to be over the cap, by the way. We could probably even afford to get a fifth a, a fifth fleet of our own. And we may want to. We'll just let this fleet build up and let's check in here. Yeah, you can see here the Telecur League is still more powerful than us, technically. We may actually want to change this back to diplomatic weight at some point. That said, I don't think that's necessarily going to be for the best. So we have, at this point, our interstellar assembly site here. I would like to begin construction on something else, but for now, because we lack the influence, we are, of course, going to begin working on our interstellar assembly locus. Excellent. So when is this term ending? We've still got time. Yeah. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and make ourselves another fleet here. This one will, of course, be the... Where do we rename this at in this screen? 
Oh, here? No. Can we just not rename it in this screen? Awkward. We're going to need a Titan. We're going to need a... There we go. We're going to need a battleship. We're going to need a cruiser. We're going to need a destroyer and a corvette. So we'll go to 7, 10, 20, and 48. Okay. Now that's going to cost all of our alloys. That's expected. The third Federation fleet here, that is going to need a admiral. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Excellent. Admin cap. Good, 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 good. We're going to go for naval cap next. That's uh, pretty important. So our third Federation fleet is underway here. And that one should be at full strength. Yeah. Excellent. Now this is the 53rd fleet. We're going to rename this to the fifth fleet. Wonderful. And we'll let that work away at its construction for a while. Although we'll probably continue to reinforce it. Periodically, as we get the ability to do exactly that. And you can see here, our maintenance cost is going up, but that's fine. We're going to grab Mercantile here. And what do we want for our final Ascension perk? Honestly, I'm coming down to Master Builders here. Although, I feel like that's something that's going to be a, like, short-term boon and not really a long-term. Habitats? Like Voidborn? Hmm. Gaia planets, telepathy. Colossus. I'm kind of not in a in the mood for Colossus right now. So here's the thing. We can get this bonus through Unity. So I'm going to not do that. However, we could do this. Ring worlds, matter decompressors, and Dyson spheres. Let's do it. Excellent. We also finished up our armor hit points. Let's grab the tech for ring world construction. And we'll build that in locations like, say, locations that are kind of bad. This one's kind of bad. I mean, a lot of these have been improved. Yerba's pretty bad. Like, a lot of these would be improved by building a ring world, right? That would definitely be a thing. But we want to get our other structures completed first. So this ship is going to move over to Wuwa. And what are we going to build in Wuwa? Well, we've built our interstellar assembly. We've built our mega shipyard. I'm kind of leaning towards this being the location of... Well, we still need the Sentry Array Site, the Strategic Coordination Center, and the Mega Art Installation. I think the Strategic Coordination Center is going to be what we want next. So we'll kind of work on saving up to that. I'll have that be out in Xanbor. Okay, sounds good. So the 5th Fleet is continually being reinforced here. Look at all of that. They still want to invite in the Awoken. Sure, we'll vote for it. I want to check, actually, are we still on diplomatic vote? Wait, we are. Okay. Sounds good. We have surpassed the Talakur League in fleet power. That's great. And it's continuing to come up. The Third Federation fleet is actually too strong. Why? Where did all of these corvettes come from? And all of these destroyers... Odd. We're going to need to remove a number of destroyers. Like that. So that the Titan can fit in there. And then we'll disband this fleet. Those should never have been built.
Very strange. Okay. Well, that Titan is nearly complete. And our second Titan is trucking along. The Mega Shipyard, remember, builds things twice as fast. We still do require a few additional Corvettes over here, and we'll just get those pumped out super, super quickly. Look at how fast that is. Insane. We can activate the Surveyor. Mira 3 getting 7 trade value. Okay, that'll be useful for our energy credit offset anyway. Our energy credits are kind of getting worse. There's no doubt about that. We're going to upgrade our energy nexus here, as well as construct a generator district. Okay. How's our construction ship doing over here? 80% done on the habitat in Sirius. Sounds good. We are, of course, still saving up at this point for the... for the strategic coordination center. That will be huge for us. Of course, in the meantime, we are working on upgrading the Interstellar Assembly. We can only do one at a time until such a time as we get our edict here, Architectural Renaissance. But we should have that actually fairly soon. It only costs 74,000. And we're gaining 715. So call that roughly what? 10? No. 100 months. Call it roughly 10 years. And it'll be active for 13, so that's fine. The Volga will be inactive for a little bit here. In fact, maybe we should get it constructing a... habitat. That said, I kind of want to phase out building habitats. Because we have ring worlds coming in. Well, that should only be built in locations where there are no habitable planets, right? So, we can continue to build habitats in in systems that do have habitable planets. But we should not build habitats in locations like Sargas. This should be removed and made into a ring world. So that'll be fine. Oh, the game is paused. No wonder things are feeling like they're not moving. The Titan should have arrived at the 3rd Federation fleet, or should be arriving very soon. Yeah, here it comes. Excellent. So you can definitely see that our menacing fleets are a lot weaker than our other fleets. And we may want to think about replacing our menacing fleets, especially if they get wiped out in a war, with just a standard fleet. That said, they're good to have as a backup to be able to pump out huge amounts of ships with just minerals if our alloys aren't really up to the trick at that moment. But you can see here, 59% increased maintenance on our navy on our naval cap. Now, a lot of that is actually energy credits. So we definitely want to work our naval cap back up. But we are certainly working on that exact thing. Nothing to really be done on our colonies right now. And our construction ship over here, I'm really just waiting for the 300 influence. That said, I do believe that this is not going to be done by then. Yeah, that's still a while. I want to invite the Awoken in again. I mean, we can give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and start selling off consumer goods. I'm also going to cancel this. Let's go ahead and sell 220 consumer goods. 225 is actually fine for now. And that will help offset some of these prices. Well, we're also going to sell a few alloys. Just 100. There we go. That should get our economy fairly balanced. Yeah, I mean, that's wildly overkill, actually. I'm going to back this off to 50. The Sirius 5 habitat is now complete. Excellent. So we're going to head over here, and we are going to 
Okay, so we can see that the rare crystals are gone. But we can see that there is a rare crystal deposit here. Excellent. So we're going to colonize this. It will, of course, be a mining habitat. And this construction ship can come on down over here. And we can build ourselves a habitat here as well. Although that one, we can't actually. Right. And the reason we can't is because that's a moon. We're going to head up. We should not build in Barnard's Star. But in Umzara, perhaps. That's a moon. That's a gas giant, which we can build over. And I guess we'll go ahead and work on that. Now, the next chunk of influence is definitely going to be earmarked for constructing our strategic coordination center. But for that, of course, we'll have to allow this to finish up. And we are waiting on getting ourselves a little bit of unity, but that is fine. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue work on our mega structures. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.